Hi there, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'll be teaching you how to make a ruffles or flowings just like the one attached to this picture at the right hand side. So if this is something that interests you and if this is something you want to learn how to make, please like, comment, subscribe, share and let's get started. You will have to cut a 360 degree flare with a folding of 15 and a half or 15 by 15. Let's just use 15 by 15, but it's 15 and a half, or let's say 15 by 15 is fine. So then you measure 5 inches at this upper part, 5 inches, you just measure it around like that, 5 inches. So after that you connect your points together then you cut it out so this is what we have then i'll go ahead and cut another one for this you know is by the right and the left and also the lining if you have enough fabric you can cut double for each each side that is 360 degree in two places that is 720 degree 720 degree but if you don't have enough fabric you can just cut one 360 degree and if your fabric is more than enough too you can instead of using the lining you can use the same fabric as the lining depending but if your fabric is not enough you can use the lining it is fine so now this is what i have then i will open it up i open it up at one end as i've done earlier then i'm placing it on each other like this i'm placing it on each other then i will make a curve just to reduce the hand over here so you can measure one inch from the edge from this edge you can measure one inch then you connect it to that point just like a curve line we don't want it to be the same length that is just for it to pencil down to this point that's why i'm trimming it i'm marking the line like this just make sure the edge over here has one inches one inches because you will sew with half inch at the upper part and you also join with half inch so everything will balance out and you also do the same thing for the lining but with that you just place the fabric on the line and then you cut it out so i'll cut it out then i also do the same for the lining So after cutting it out then i'll pick one you know it is two so one to a lining and the other one to do one lining so i'll take them and place them on each other then the next thing to do is to add your stay to this fabric you can add stay to both the fabric and the lining so this is the stay i added to the fabric so you can just use a soft paper stay not so hard just a soft one or you can just use a medium one at most a medium one so you can either put place it on the fabric or on the lining so then you sew together by joining the lining to the fabric then after joining this is what i have so i'm going ahead to notch this so after notching the first one i'll also notch the second one the notching is just to divide this into two so that I can know which one will fall towards the front while the other one will fall towards the back. So this is my bustier that I've sewn. If you want to see the video on how I made this bustier, I will link it up here so that you can see. So after laying it like this and I've went ahead to join my sleeve, but I didn't join the sleeve in full as you can see that this sleeve I just joined it to the part where I need and I left it like that. So I'll measure this part over here. Then the measure I get, I will measure the same thing at the back. When I measured it was 5 inches. So I'll measure 5 inches over here too. Then what I did was to measure 8 inches from the upper part. But this may be confusing. Just measure 5 inches from the lower part. Like from the half length, from the waist upward. Because your neckline may be 
deeper than mine so it won't affect you just measure five inch from the upper from the waist upward then you connect the line just to give you the shape of the front that's what i'm trying to achieve here because i did not do the same like neckline i did for the front at the back so i'm trying to draw the line to show the to show the line so i know the line i'll be following when i'm sewing so that's what i did then you know we measured five inches at the back and the front is five inches so i'll just connect the points like this i don't know if you understand but i know you will understand just from that point now to the five inches at the back i'm connecting it like that then now i'll place my flare which will serve as my ruffles and i'll sew it on that part so let me explain again for this other side so the five inches i measured from the front i'll measure it at the back then i'll measure eight inches here but alternatively you can just measure five inches from the waist upward just five inches from the waist upward then you measure your seam allowance that is for the zip the joining allowance for the zip so you measure it so that when you are fixing it won't go to the zip area so you just connect it from that point now to this point here so it is stopping at that point so when you fix it it won't affect the zip so you are not affecting the zip allowance then you connect the point to the point at the front on the shoulder because this ruffles is tending towards the shoulder that is it's moving away from the shoulder to the sleeve so that's why i drew this line over here so now this is the flare that i've cut out then i'll place it like this i'll pin it down and you know this flare will be longer than the length we have here so the point is just to make gathers like ruffles just to make ruffles at that edge so to make it very full so you pin that then the part we notched you will place it at this midpoint too of the sleeve that is where the joining is where the shoulder joining is for the front and back that's where you will place that notch point then this last point too you place it at the edge over there then you also pin So after doing that you now start making ruffles just for this part to contain everything so i went ahead to to fix to fix this part for the other side then after sewing i took it to my sewing machine to make the ruffles while sewing so this is what i have but i've not ironed it so I'm trying to cut out the part that was showing. So after sewing, I noticed some parts will be showing. So I'm trying to trim it out. The sharp edge that is showing. I'm trying to trim it out. Then this is what I have after sewing. I've not gone ahead to iron. But as you can see, the ruffles is coming out. When you are ironing, it's not as if you now iron for it to go down. Just to iron for the parts. Just to let it lie a bit. Not to make it flat completely but just to make it lie down a bit so that it won't it won't be flipping over to the other side so after joining the sleeve and joining the other parts of my gown this is what i have and it looks really nice i'm sorry i won't be able to put this on a mannequin because i don't have a mannequin yet but this fits really really nice on the client it fits really really nice so thank you so much for watching thank you so much for liking this video thank you so much for subscribing and i will see you in my next video if you have any question please let me know in the comment section and i will reply as soon as i get them so bye